Well, even though uh, it, it seems like a big bullying uh, campaign, which it is, this constant need to impose sanctions on everybody, everywhere, for everything, um, it also, to me, seems to be a sign of desperation and a sign, ultimately, of uh, defeat. Um, in, in, in the first place, th there's no real way to overstate the, the cruelty of this kind of siege warfare. It is siege warfare taken out of the Middle Ages and plunked into the 21st century. Uh, the idea of, of uh, starving populations or limiting access to medicine and stuff like that is, a, you know, a, a clear act of war. It's a clear violation of the Geneva Conventions. It's, it's just sick. It's, it's vomit-inducing that the U.S. continues to do this without uh, any um, a blowback, well, <laughs> without any repercussions. They're not taken to task. They're not uh, boycotted. They're not brought to the ICC. They basically feel that they can do whatever they want. And it, by the way, is completely bipartisan. You know, you, you can say that this is evil and Trump is evil. A lot of Democrats will say this, but they've been on board for all of these sanctions. They've been on board for all the coups. It is a united front of imperial um, nastiness. It just is is so inhuman um, that the rest of the world is uh, starting to take notice as to where it's going or what they want from it. You know, I, I think um, they want to see a coup happen in Iran, uh, in uh, Russia, in China, if they can, any place they can stir up trouble. Uh, uh, Venezuela, certainly, Bolivia, they already did. Uh, but the, the, the idea uh, specifically of ratcheting up sanctions on Iran when it's facing this COVID crisis, this massive COVID crisis, leave aside for the minute the, uh, the, the idea that it is uh, uh, a, an American bioweapon, which is not without evidence, by the way, but still leaving, you know, assuming there's no validity to that at all, this is still a murderous escalation of an already uh, sick policy. And um, the, the Chinese are coming to the rescue in, in uh, uh, sending supplies and information and doctors to Iran. They're also doing the same thing with Italy. Cuba is uh, doing the same thing, sending doctors. And all the, the West can do is hunker down try to buy uh, an exclusive patent for the U.S. for its own COVID vaccine. Um, the EU won't give anything to anyone not an EU country. It, it, it's, um, it really is telling, and it shows the stark difference between the values that are held by the so-called evil empire, uh, the countries. Uh, you know, like Iran and, and China and um, Cuba and uh, what um, the West counts as rugged individualism. I mean, it's it's uh, completely disrupting the economy in in the West. And the because of decades of neoliberal uh, uh, austerity, there's no there's no social system left. You know, there, there are, the, the hospitals will be easily overwhelmed as they are in Italy and people have nothing to fall back on. And uh, while the senators are doing things like selling off their Corona stock, their uh, stocks before the Corona crash hit, uh, after having inside information to how, they, after they had been briefed, on how uh, how it will all go down, so they're they're profiting off of this while the people are waiting um, to see what their government is going to do for 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 us. 
you know, how these these patchwork and Band-Aid solutions um, that are just, just scaring people to death. And uh, meanwhile, they are literally profiting off of uh, people's misery. It's um, it's just uh, it's dangerous and, uh, like I said, repulsive. And what I think it's leading to is uh, a backfire that, like I said, I think ultimately it's a sign of defeat. You can't get away with this forever. And they have way overplayed their hand. And I think that this will be part of the uh, continuing decline of U.S. influence in the world. And that said, you know, it's it's about time. I, I, I can't uh, argue against that. Look at what that influence has done over the past decades. So if you want a silver lining, I guess that's it.